Hello, this is Bronte Cohens and Londa Cross. Today, we will be exploring in-call features and tools of Google Meet. It is an app that can be used to host secure video meetings. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with in-call features of Google Meet. After initiating a Google Meet session with your students and or your colleagues, there are several in-call features that allow you to maximize the productivity of your session. In the upper right hand corner, there is a menu with an activities section. When you click on that activity session, you will see the three in-call features that are available. There are breakout rooms, polls, and the question and answer option. Breakout rooms can be utilized to provides students with the opportunity to work collaboratively. Independently, it provides you with the opportunity to work with small groups and also to host individual conferences with students. To initiate the breakout rooms, you will go to set up breakout rooms. You may want to predetermine the students that are in each breakout room using your roster, or you can randomize it to allow students to work with a different set of students on their assignments or activities. There's also an option for you to set a timer so that students can work and then come back to the main room so that you can have a whole group discussion based on the activity or assignment, assignment that the students complete. The second option is the polls feature. Polls are an effective way to provide students with a warm up question virtually, a closer question, or to ask students questions to gauge their understanding of the instruction that you're delivering during your Google Meet session. There's an option for you to provide students with the different answer choices that students have answered so that students have immediate feedback on the information that you have presented to them. This option is also good to check in with students, which allows students to select from a variety of emotions that they may be feeling. It's important that during your virtual session that you check in with your students so that they feel comfortable with the virtual session. The third option is question and answer. As you are going through an instruction or as students are working, collaborating with one another, you can turn on this feature so that students can ask questions throughout the activity or the lessons and this allows you to observe student interactions without having to facilitate the conversations in the chat yourself. Students enjoy this option because they can get feedback from their students as they are working. These in-call fe features allow you to maximize the productivity of your session by providing students with a, an in-class-like lesson where there is collaboration and communication in a virtual setting. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast, podcast, and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.